Hey, thick of tears. I found another tree to identify. This one down here, uh, the sun's kind of in the way. That yellow tree right down there. That is an Osage orange or a hedge apple. Um, this tree is notable because back in the day, farmers used to line their cattle fields with it. And uh, it, it's a really fast growing tree. You can grow it about 10 feet in five years or so. But they would, they'd line it, uh, line their fields with this because they have some pretty nasty thorns. Now this one right here, I don't, I, I kind of looked at it a minute ago. I don't think it has any thorns on it. This might be a variety that just doesn't. I'm actually in a city park, so I mean it's, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be strange to have a little bit different variety of plants here. Uh, this is a conservation owned city park, so it is under management. As I was saying, Osage Orange is also notable because it is one of the best trees that you can make a bow out of. Back in the day, the indigenous people in this area of Missouri, um, they would actually use this for... Oh my, is it going to rain? Anyway, uh, they would use this for bows because it's really springy, it's really strong, and it doesn't tend to snap. Um, it is called Osage Orange because of the fruit, which I'll show you in a minute, but also its wood is a pretty yellow color. So you can see that leaf, that is one of the leaves. It is yellow because it's November right now, it's the fall. In the summer, of course, they're green. I don't see any, any thorns on this one, unless those kind of dead looking branches are the thorns. This is a, an older tree. It might have lost some of them. Or like I said, it could just be a variety with that. Oh, here's one, here's a little thorn. They so say they have these the camera will focus. These little thorns here. When you get a big bushy tree like this, all packed together, about waist high, you don't want to walk through that, and neither do cows. So another way to identify this tree, especially in the fall, is by its fruit. Um, these look kind of small on the ground, but they are not small fruit. They're big old, big old brains kind of laying on the ground. Uh, inside of them, inside of each of these little, little uh, bumpies, is a seed or a series of seeds. Uh, a lot of things will eat them. Sometimes deer in the winter will eat them. Squirrels will chew through this to eat the seeds, but for the most part, it's really bitter. The seeds are technically edible, but it's just, it's really not worth it. Um, they also smell kind of like an orange, especially when you break them open. Um, not so much like the fruit, the, the orange part of the, of the orange, but more like the rind. It, it's, it's a really pleasant smell. I'm actually gonna be collecting these and I'm gonna take some of them home and see if I can't get a hedge started at home. That'd be really nice, save me a little bit of money on the fence. But they are all over the place and they actually are still on the tree. You do not want to sleep under one of these trees in the fall. You don't want to sit underneath one of them. Nothing like that because let me see if I can find one. Here's one right here. Okay, straight up directly above me. Look at that sucker. There's one. There's one. Oh boy, you don't want to get hit with one of those. They are very big. Some of these are really big. Some of them are really small, but like, look at these. They're huge. They're huge. Yeah. Pretty heavy as well. Looks like this one was chewed on by a squirrel or something. Um, it's pretty goopy, but this is what happens after you let them overwinter. They'll rot out, and then you take the slurry with all the little seeds in it. I wonder if I can find a seed. I don't know if we'll be able to find one. That one? Oh, they're in there somewhere. Uh, anyway, you take that and you put it in a trench and make sure you keep it one, keep it watered and you should grow some little trees. This was a really interesting find. I was just kind of hanging out with the dogs. I've got another hour or something before my next appointment here in the city. I've been here since like eight this morning and it's a uh, three, two or three now. And I thought I found this. I thought I would share it with you. If you happen to see these little guys laying on the ground, and they can actually get bigger than this. They can get about twice that size. I found one on, on a university campus where the trees are really well managed, uh, and it was just like, it was like a basketball, it was huge. I can't imagine I'm walking under that tree every day, fearing for my life, like I am right now. There's one right above me. So here's an Osage orange. I hope you like the video. If you do, hit the thumbs up, and if you really like it, hit the subscribe. Um, if you really like me a long time, uh, I don't have a Patreon anymore. I guess you could, there's a PayPal donation. I don't know. It, just hit the bell and you can see whenever I upload again. I'm trying to do a little bit more now that it's fall and I'm not quite as busy. Got a little more energy 
having a couple days off work. So uh, yeah, I will see you next time, and please be safe, and I love you, and uh, yeah, have a good one.